Pat Ross, of course. The fucking moon is so bright tonight. You can clearly see all the uh, those dark areas that are supposed to be. I don't know. I guess I guess they say they're craters or something. But um, if you uh, we got it. We got it. Okay, very good. If you if you were to take a picture of it, and there are other people on YouTube that have done this, and you lay it flat out, the those dark areas, the, those deep craters that, like tonight, you can see them crystal clear. If you lay them out, you can lay a map of the land masses of the world on them. Like there's one that is the same shape as North America, the same with the cross. It's the exact. It's like a photograph of the continents. Um, and then around it is a bunch of other things that look like continents. And the idea is because there are other things around us that we uh, can't see possibly beyond, uh, beyond the ice wall, you know, a place no one's allowed to go up in Antarctica. Um, the idea being that uh, it's not a continent. It's actually part of the of the wall that's kind of around our little area, uh, and that's why the ocean is the way it is. Uh, water finding its own level, all that type of stuff. The tides, the way it works. Right, let's see if you can see it. Can you see it? Let's see if I can close up on it. It's so. Yeah, no, it's just going to look like a. A bright ball here but um it's very uh it's very sharp what the hell do i do the camera hold on let me get there here there we go yeah the uh those darker points are, are are very very clear and even looking at it i can see the one that looks like north america so uh what does that mean i don't know I, i've heard that it was a compass uh and, and it was, well, it's a lot of things, you know. Um, it has functions to it. Uh, it gives off uh, sort of, of a moonlight, which is, uh, well, it gives off moonlight, really? There's something about the light, though. It has properties to it. You could, um, like, if, you, and if it's like a, a fall night, right, and you have cars parked outside, the ones that are like not in the moonlight, like under under a tree or something, won't have like frost on them. But the cars that are out in the moonlight actually do. Because it has some kind of cold light. You can put water out in the moonlight and absorb the properties from it. You can do the same thing with the sun. Um, a lot of people in the in different magic schools do this kind of stuff. They imbue like water with the sunlight or the moonlight. That's properties in it that affect something and your body when you ingest them. Not really my field of study, if you couldn't tell. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of interesting that regardless of actually what it's supposed to be, whether it's a compass or whatever, uh, that you can fit the, the continents like right in those areas. And that there are other ones around it that don't really fit anything else. Um, the idea, well, one of the ideas is that how we have the ice wall that surrounds kind of our continent, there's uh, ground that goes on beyond that. Ad oh, excuse me, Admiral Byrd, when you did that TV interview, the one that, like, everyone's seen, that I kind of feel like... I don't know, it was almost like it, it was, they wanted people to see it, like it was planted there or something, because it, it's still there, and everyone's seen it and talked about it, where he says uh, that there's a lot of land uh, in the Antarctic, like uh, miles and miles, uh, he was saying like twice the size of the U.S. Um, that was Operation High Jump. No, actually, what was the first one? Uh, there were three of them. 
No, he. Uh, I, okay. Mm. There were three ones that had to do with the, with the firmament. Operation High Jump was one of the Admiral Bird ones, where uh, I forget was that the. It wasn't the first one they did. The first one they went on. I, I, so, I sound like I know what I'm talking about, right? The first one they wanted is when they found that there was um, land beyond. But there was a huge ice wall there. But beyond that ice wall, they could see that there was land there. So the next one was Operation High Jump. And they, re they went there with like a ton of military. There's been conflicting stories about what happened to a lot of those uh, the military units. A lot of them were lost in that expedition. Were they attacked? Were they fighting something? I don't know. Um, but the next thing that had to do with the, the firmament or the barrier or whatever you want to call that thing up there was uh, Operation Fishbowl. And that was when they blew missiles at it uh, for like a long time. <laughs> they bombarded it trying to get, trying to break through. Um, they didn't, obviously. Uh, and it's, it's still up there. But um, yeah, so the idea is that around our continents is the, is the, the ice wall. And we're like sort of in the middle of this, of this pool. But beyond that, there are other pools with continents in them. So some of those other areas up there that don't match up with the, the continents we know could be the other continents closest to us. I don't know. I, um, there are things up, it, it's weird, like there, there are areas there that match up with our continents, but then there are others that are in shapes that we don't have any anything to match up with them. So if it is a, a, a compass or a, uh, like a, a, a reflection or a photographic kind of image, out here, uh, it's hard to say, you know. That stuff we're kind of just have to sort of speculate on. And then you get the whole thing with the moon that goes back to like. Uh, and, <laughs> you hear that guy? You got marijuana? It's funny, there was another guy like him that used to yell for, uh, for booze. He had a white hair guy in a wheelchair. He died. So I guess that's his replacement. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's weird. Like I, it, I mean, it's not what they're telling you it is, obviously. And as the years go on, that um, those NASA moon landing photos are just fucking funnier and funnier. Like it's, the, I mean, you see it glowing, right? And then when they go up there, uh. Nothing's glowing. So they must have went there during the day. Is all I can uh, all I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I, I just uh, I gave you barely coherent information about about uh, the mysteries of the moon. I put sentences together, but I'm not sure if any of it meant that. It's something, it's something worth looking into, if that's, you know, sounds interesting to you. Uh, to me, though, it's like, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm more concerned with the, the things happening here. If, if it's something that uh, sometimes abstract, well, it's not really abstract. It's very, very much a, you know, important part of our, our world, but... Um, sometimes other things that you may not have an interest in, if you dig that hole a little bit, it can reveal stuff that will help you on the things you are interested in. So that happens to me sometimes too. I mean, you can't know all this stuff. You can't know all this stuff. But the one thing uh, you can know is uh, they're not telling you the truth about it. By now though, I think a, a lot of us, especially us here, have realized that uh, that is the case for just about everything. 
So what do you do? I mean, you know, you can't worry about it. You can't dwell on it because you only have control over what you have control over. You know, your area, the people you know, family, friends, things around you. You know, you don't have any, any control over anything else. So you have to kind of defend that area and not let the bullshit in. And they're always trying to get some bullshit in any way they can. You know, that's why they love the TV. You know, got them in everybody's living room. You know, I mean, back in the day, you know, Jesus, back in the day, any time before the, the 20th century, you didn't have the government involved in your life at all. Maybe occasionally someone would come out there to talk about a census thing, but I mean, that was rare. So getting that TV uh, got them right in there. And how all evil works, it's uh, in contracts, terms and conditions. You have to do it to yourself. So they couldn't force their way in to your living room. You chose to be in there by, you know, putting the TV in there. You know, you, you, you're letting them in. You're letting them in, you know. You, you're letting the, the, the vampire in the door. And that's what happened. Whatever, it's all gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. This is just fun stuff to talk about. Just tossing the ball around. Don't blame the teacher, blame the school.